Hello, my name is Denise Yesbachmore, and today I'm creating with John Bede. John Bede is a Preciosa Crystal Platinum distributor and a well-known wholesale company turning 70 this year. Today's DIY jewelry making project features my Caribbean moon earrings. The tools and supplies you will need to create these earrings are round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, wire cutters. We will be using Preciosa crystals and Preciosa pearls. Caribbean C six millimeter bicones with an AB coating. Caribbean C six millimeter bicones with an AB coating, but these are matte. Tanzanite six millimeter rounds with an AB coating. Tanzanite four millimeter rounds. Crystal Bellatrix, six millimeter AB. Pearlescent white pearls, six millimeter. Four millimeter jump rings and ear wire and 24 gauge wire. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found on blog.johnbead.com. Cut a four and a half inch length of 24 gauge wire. We are now going to create a wrapped loop. Using our round nose pliers, we are going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, switch hands, and we are going to wrap one, two, three. Remove the wire. Using our wire cutters, we're gonna trim off that little end, flatten out our loop, and we are going to tap the little wire down so there are no sharp edges. Now cut two three and a half inch lengths of 24 gauge wire. Once again, we are going to form a wrapped loop, bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, Switch hands and we are going to wrap one, two, three. Trim off that little end, flatten out our loop, and we are going to tap that wire down so there are no sharp edges. Repeat the wire wrap loop on the second three and a half inch 24 gauge wire. Now we have three wrapped loops. We are now going to create the bottom row of the earrings. I just loaded onto the four and a half inch length wire, a four millimeter tanzanite, Caribbean sea bicone mat, a crystal Bellatrix, Tanzanite six millimeter, the pearl, Tanzanite six millimeter, the crystal, the Caribbean sea bicone mat, and the four millimeter Tanzanite. Making sure our beads are nice and tight, we're going to complete a wrapped loop on this end of the wire. So I wanna make sure that my bottom loop is facing this way so that the loops are going in the same direction. So we're gonna bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, switch hands. Grabbing our chain nose pliers, we are going to wrap one, two, three. Remove it. Using our wire cutters, 
we're going to trim off that little end, flatten out our loop, and tap that wire down so there are no sharp edges. I'm now going to start bending my wire to create a U shape. I just loaded my three and a half inch length wire with Preciosa crystals. We have the four millimeter tanzanite, the bicone Caribbean CAB, the six millimeter tanzanite, the bicone Caribbean C six millimeter, and the four millimeter tanzanite. Now we're going to create a wrapped loop, making sure those beads are nice and tight and that the loop is facing this way. We're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, switch hand. We are going to wrap one, two, three. Grabbing our wire cutters, we're gonna trim off that little end flatten out our loop and tap that wire down so there are no sharp edges. Once again, we're gonna come in and we're just going to bend the wire up. I just loaded onto our last length of three and a half inch wire, three Tanzanite crystals, four millimeter, your ear wire, three Tanzanite crystals, four millimeter. I'm going to purposely create the loop facing the wrong way. So at the end, I can show you how to fix it if it happens to you and your loops are facing different directions. Grabbing our round nose pliers, we wanna make sure those beads are nice and tight. Bend the wire back. Move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, switch hands. We are going to wrap one, two, three. Remove it, grabbing our wire cutters, we're gonna come in. Trim off that little end, flatten our loop, and tap that wire down so there are no sharp edges. You can now see our loops are facing opposite the wrong way, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. So we're going to grab our chain nose pliers and place it there, and then grab our other chain nose pliers and place it there, and we're going to give it a little twist. So now you can see the loops are facing in the same direction. Now we're going to bend the wire down instead of up like we did on the other two. So we're just gently moving the wire and bending it down. Now we have created the three parts of the earring. Let's connect it. I just grabbed a four millimeter jumper. This is how you open and close a jump ring. Picking up the bottom piece, we're going to attach it to the jump ring. The middle piece, attach it to the jump ring. And the top, and attach it to the jump ring. Now we're going to come back in and close our jump ring. I just picked up and opened my four millimeter jump ring. Coming over to the other side, we're gonna grab the bottom, the middle, and the top, and attach it to the jump ring. Now we're gonna come back in, and we are going to close the jump ring. At this point, you can come back in and bend your wires a little bit to make sure that they have the shape that you desire. And there you have it, how to create my Caribbean moon 
earrings. Another one of my projects that will be featured on blog.johnb.com is my Caribbean Moon bracelet. This will not have a DIY tutorial, but it will have written instructions. I hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial video, and I will see you next time.